box a perfect like materials engineer dream. You know, it's got rock, it's got the material itself. We're doing concrete and asphalt and, you know, HMA and CIR. And so it's really all about materials, how the materials work and the cracking and how things fit together and how they move and how durable they are. And it's just lots of fun material science. Caltrans and really most of the country is spending a lot of time looking at a simpler crack test. So you wouldn't think that asphalt has so much quality control in it. Before your mix is accepted, while your mix is being produced, while it's being laid, after it's laid, I mean, it's just testing, testing, testing all the time. And Caltrans is likely to implement some new testing. It's called the Ideal CT test. And so they want to move more toward what's called balanced mix design, where you just take your final mix and you say, is it strong enough? Is it crack resistant enough? Is it rut resistant enough? And if it passes all those, it doesn't matter what kind of the gradation is or what makes it up or how much oil's in there and all that stuff, as long as it performs, right? So it's like performance testing um, versus like ingredient testing. And that is one that we are running right now on all of our Caltrans mixes so that when they do implement the new testing protocol that we are ready and we know our mixes are all going to be up to par. Polymer is a material that they put into the big settling tank. What it does is you have a cloudy, dirty water and sand, everything kind of mixed in there. And you can just sprinkle a little, just a tiny little pinch of this stuff in there and all the fines just settle right out. And the water clears up and everything goes to the bottom. What the polymer does, it's, it's a flocculant. It goes into the water and all the little dirt particles kind of stick to it and then that sinks down to the bottom. So it kind of clumps everything up and, and drags it down to the bottom, just cleaned and reused and cleaned and reused. I think those companies that are not embracing all the new technology, I mean, the data that you can get out of the quarry and the processing, there's just so much there. And if nobody's looking at it and looking for improvements, then you're gonna get left behind because it's gonna advance the whole industry so much, just seeing where we can make improvements and efficiency, quality and everything.